Hey guys and welcome to a new guide series on the channel called Map Awareness. So we're basically going to go through each map in Tarkov, go over key points as well as little tricks for like jumping locations, ease of movement, where people, the way that people play on the game, slow camping spots that I've noticed over the couple of years I've been playing, as well as just mainly the way that people move around the map and give you an insight on just little tricks and locations that you can go into now there is obviously going to be a lot more and this is all going to be based on my play style so there won't be every single thing in this guide but it'll just be the main points of good little jumping spots and just basically things to look out for especially with point 12 coming up with a lot more people going to be coming back because of the new engine update so Tark will be running a lot better which is what about 90% of the player base that have left have been waiting for so hopefully you guys found this guide useful also I do want to add a lot of this commentary will be based in live gameplay so if I do take a pause or something like that or there's a jump cut um, just remember that this isn't done in a voiceover so it's a lot more harder to record you know, in general, doing it live for me. Anyway, that's why I do voiceovers. But to start off, we're going to start off at the trailer park next to the extract. Any type of these cabins that you see that have got railings and then you've got a second floor that's kind of like pushed back a bit. These are actually quite good that you can jump on top of the roofs. Now, I won't show you every single one in this game, but if you can't jump up, if you like straight onwards you can always you can always just jump on the uh, railings and land on it they can be quite painful to actually land you can see I'm failing a bit there we go but what you want to do is walk a back walk right to the corner a bit further away from the door and jump on top of the door and then jump on top of the roof without falling off. There we go. So any of these doors that you can open throughout the entire map, you can actually get on top of the roofs. And this gives you a really good skyline. So on top of this roof, especially with the LOD in this game is quite, you know, finicky sometimes. So you can see here that the catwalk hasn't spawned in. So you can see people that are camping behind the catwalk as well as on top of the catwalk, they'll just be floating. And you'll notice this a lot with these kind of uh, jumps in this game so you can obviously get on top of this one as well if there's actually a door there which there is and same with this one over here you can get on top of that one as well some of them you can just run straight up onto like this one for instance which makes it 10 times easier and then yeah you got a full coverage all around you can see on top of the garages but this is a pretty good position now let's talk about getting on top of the garages now a lot of these cars that are based around you can actually jump on top of the garages with um previous wipe used to be able to do that one but not so much but literally everything here can help you get on top of the garages you can see here as well as this bin this is pretty good if you spawn down at the uh the bush spawn or whatever it's called, uh, trailer park extract. Um, this is pretty much the one that I go onto. So it's quick and easy. Same with this VW. But it is actually VW. I hope they don't find out, eh? But this one, you're gonna have to jump on top of this uh, random. Bear in mind, this is the, this your jump height does take into consideration with your weight. So if you're a heavy, heavy lad and you're going a thick boy for your raids, it can be quite a bit uh, painful to do some of these jumps. There's another way up. And once you're on top of these, you can basically go anywhere because they all connect through different like uh, shipping containers, right? So if you get on top of one roof and you want to go push over to another one, obviously watch your stamina. But you can easily parkour across, you know, hardcore parkour style. Same with this one. So you can get over from here to this side and then you've got like a little barrier down there. This is another way of getting on top of the garages with this car. 
and same with you used to be able to do it with this bin. It's definitely a bit awkward to get on top of here. That's why if you just use the car over there, which is a lot more easier. Same with this one. You just got to jump. Oh, I've got no stamina. Here we go. On top of this roof. And you can see once again, the catwalk just doesn't spawn in, which is really... You know, funky, so you do see people float, which is, like I said, quite a common thing that you get. This is a very well-known one where you just basically walk up this this wall and then just jump on top of the wall and then jump on top of the, the roof. Okay, see now, in big red, this is quite a cheeky one. Um, not a lot of people know about it, but more and more every day using this. All you got to do is go to this corner, jump on top of the railing, literally walk up. And then with people who like to run on top of the roofs, nice easy spots as well as you've got this hole here and the main, you know, where big hole is, where a lot of players cross as well as down along the alleyway and the bush highway as well. And you can also see a jump over down there. As you can see here, looking into the offices, the door doesn't spawn in. So if you've got a high pen bullet, you can actually shoot through that door. And no one ever thinks that you're going to be up on the same level as them, being able to kill them, because there is metal stairs, so they would hear your metal if you are up there with them. People don't look up in these games, right? They, they're, they're very strict at keeping an eye level. So even simple things like this, these barrels here, you can jump on top of and get on top of these big blue barrels. Obviously, you've got to watch yourself from the train. But if you sit up here, you've got a bush covering you and you can easily get people through here. And once again, the garage is kind of like despawned a bit so you can see people on the inside. You just got to try and think outside the box with these kind of locations. If you see certain things stacked up next to other things, you just got to try and think how, how can you get on top of these spots. Now this one is quite a common one on top of this train. You just jump on top of a box and again and then you got basically a whole 360 view of people running across over here as well as this one people do actually spot you quite easily here because you you do stand out because you know it's a smooth service and there's a guy lying on top of the train we keep making our way down here you can get on top of this one as well Um, remember, remember when I said about the LOD? Nothing on this bridge spawns in. So you will just see people going left to right, walking along thin air. And all you got to do is just keep shooting at them. And at some point, they're going to be in actual line of sight of you. If they're behind a the car, obviously you can't shoot them. Well, you can shoot at them. You're not going to do any damage because the car's blocking the bullets. But yeah, this is also a pretty good spot. Obviously having higher strength is going to make it easier for you. A lot of these you don't actually need max strength. Especially with this wipe it's a lot more harder to get max strength. So, But this is just a player awareness one. So usually when people spawn here, what they like to do is run up here and actually watch you either push up through, because there's an open fence here, you either push up through here into the trailer park or possibly run left to right into the garages. So if you have that bush spawn, it can actually be quite dangerous if you spawn there. As well as people who got geared boys, they can, you know, see you the entire way up. Now for this one, you do kind of want to get, um, there's a thing called like sprint jump, where you, oh, I've got a stamina to show you, where you run and you kind of like launch yourself. So you can jump over the fence here, which is pretty good because you catch a lot of people off guard. Because they don't expect it, they hear the they hear the metal. So what they do is they push round to try and peek you, but you already jumped over. So that's a pretty good spot. Okay, so now we're at the end of the train. You got these little hearts. I'm assuming it's for the, you know, the train cross and everything, right? You can get on top of both of these roofs. Now, this is you have to jump on the rock for this one. You can't just make the straight jump. You need to go as far as you can over to the left. And then just walk and jump and then you're on the roof and this is quite a good spot people don't seem to look in this direction so when they push through the small hole they really don't look over here because they're looking to see if someone's in red 
or on catwalk or round to the left by the blue hut as well as people down the end if you need to get your 100 meter headshots this is a really good one because you get low levels that go running out here and then literally just follow the wall down so this is a pretty pretty juicy spot and then same with this one over here just jump straight up you don't have to do no rock parkour for this one and then with this spot same again you can lie down and you got perfect coverage if it's kind of near, near eight, uh, late game and you can see the extract down there you can be one of those you can be one of those cunts in the game that like to you know exit camp not that I condone that and people who do that should you know yeah, delete the game in my opinion <laughs> yeah okay Okay, so we're now next to the Tarkov truck. A lot of these that you most probably do know, um, these are kind of just more of a beginner guide. Hopefully some of these you won't know. But this is quite a simple one. You just literally walk up the pipe and then you're sorted. So you can see bridge pretty clearly as well as due to LOD distance, the trees go into 2D mode instead of 3D mode. So you can easily see people on the other side as well. As well as actually shooting people inside of the office in Big Red. Okay so moving into Elbow this is actually quite a good spot so what you want to do is literally just sprint and jump to go into this blue box and if you get here first and you hear shots behind you this is a pretty good spot people don't seem to look behind them it also once again that I said about the LOD there's actually like an electrical thing right here um, obviously it's not spawned in so you can see people through that so this is another kind of LOD spot as well. Okay, so we're in construction right now going up into the middle bit. So a little trick that a lot of people don't know about is that you can actually drop down here, land on here without hurting yourself. As well as if you're pushing towards new construction, this is a pretty good drop. Drop down there. You don't actually take that much damage. I think it's just like a few health. Um, but this is also a pretty good way of getting down from construction. Now going over to this, I'm actually not very good at this jump. I, I rarely make this jump. Uh, so you can actually jump from here over to these blue containers. But you got to launch yourself over. I'm, I'm never really good at doing this jump. Oh, here we go. Huh. Yeah, it's sword. <laughs> but yeah, so I think you have to do two sets before you do the jump, if I remember correctly. And then if you continue and you got luck, you can actually make it over to these right here. And then you got full coverage once again up up on top of the containers. Everything spawns in for you up here, which is a good thing. So there's no more LOD abuse. But what you can do is if you crouch here and look over to the left, you can see the bridge clear. And people will definitely not think to look over here. You just got to watch yourself because you are right in the open for Sniper Hill as well as all these other locations. Also, just below where I said, if you're going to hide in here, just remember that people can actually shoot you inside this spot. There's so many times where people go in there and think they're hiding and I just shoot them in their side. So another good little spot is these barrels here. Just as it's so simple. All they're going to see is a head peeking over at them, but you got full coverage of the big hole and the small hole coming into new construction. Now, like I said before, with these kind of huts, you can get on top of the roof. You do need to have the factory zone storage key. I think it's something like that. Uh, the portable cabin key for the fact for the customs factory zone. All right, let's see. This spot is definitely really good. When I did my key guide for this, I did show it off, and I got quite a lot of praise for it. But once again like getting into any of these spots people don't seem to look up you are definitely a little more open up here so of course just remember to drop your bag just so you're not a giant there's no like a giant attack to you sitting on top of these uh these boxes like i said you just got to try and find advantage points in the map that's going to help you so here's another one on top of the car you can see the bridge you can see the blue container as well as you can see if someone's sitting on top of the railings next to the you know the factory zone key that we just jumped on top of right there 
as well as you got this, but you can't really shoot over this one. Uh, maybe with a pistol you can, but yeah, this one you can't actually aim over. Okay, so now we're at the new gas station. Let's say you see someone up on the rocks, and you don't want to go, you know, straight in front of him up the rocks and then just get your head blown off. This is a good little spot. If you go behind the tanker, you got this fence that's kind of fallen over a bit. If you sprint and jump round, you can actually make it past the wall. Okay, so back in gas station again. This spot is pretty good. It is used quite a bit, and I don't know why you'd want to use this. I mean, if you're in a firefight and the back door's open and your teammates are out there engaged and you've got someone coming pushing around this way, what you can do is actually jump on top of these boxes and actually use it as cover uh, from up top. As well as you can actually go all the way around. So you can do quite a weird angle um, and sit on top of here. And if they push in, they're not really going to, you know, when they push around, they're going to look at the ground level. So you can see on my screen that it kind of like cuts off a wee bit. And then just outside the back here, you got this trailer and that you can easily jump on top of. Not a people, not a lot of people know about this actually. And you can, you know, obviously shoot people on the other side. You can obviously jump over the barbed wire as well, and then jump on top of here. And then you got full coverage as well as on the bus. Now, I'm actually quite surprised at how little people know about this. But what you can do is jump on top of this, jump on top of this rubble here, walk back a little bit, and you can actually just jump straight over into the cranes. Now this spot is, that's pretty good if you want to get over to old gas station and you don't have the key. And then here's another good spot. If you walk up this little ramp, if you walk up this ramp, jump on top of that box. Here we go. Get on top of blue container. You got basically full coverage of gas station. You can also get on top of this as well. Um, the pipes. Obviously you're going to be a bit lower. But then you'd also be covered a wee bit more. You just always got to make sure that you're watching over this bridge. And now a lot of people know about this. But if you're here in just past the cranes. And you've got the portaloos here. You could jump on top of this blue car. Jump on top of the portaloo. Okay, I failed. Wonderful. You can do this at strength level 1. I don't actually run. I just walk and jump right at the very edge. And then just jump straight on over. Okay, so now we're at military checkpoint. This can be quite contested area. There's a, a lot of solid walls where, you know, you might want to try and get around to a location quick enough. Here's just a little shortcut. Just a simple jump over. You can always just run around. Well, it is just quite a simple jump over. This one I take quite a lot. There is actually a barbed wire um, hole there. You will 100% hit the barbed wire when you go through that and make sound. Even if you don't make sound on your side, you will still make, you know, sounds of your player getting hurt even on barbed wire. So what I like to do is jump up here, jump on where this cardboard is, try to land on this roof bit here, this metal grate. And then land down here. This is a pretty good way of avoiding hitting that barbed wire. Just to make yourself a wee bit more stealthier. Okay, so coming up to the sniper building. Um, there's Muto checkpoint over there. You can actually get on top of these containers here. That can look over towards the sniper side. Or the rock, should I say. Uh, this is a definitely a good counter sniping position. If there are people on the rocks. All you need to do is jump on top of the forklift. And then jump on top of the roof and then you're sorted. A lot of people what they do is lie down here and literally just counter snipe. This spot is quite well known now. Um, but there could also be a dead player up here. So easy loot. Yeah. Nice easy loot up there. Okay so coming up to old gas station. This is a pretty good spot. So obviously there's only one entrance into old gas station which is this bridge. So a pretty good counter position is actually here. On the back of the VW truck. There's a lot of people like to pick this corner. You've also got full coverage on the left side. Uh, the only issue is you don't always want to repeat the same corner twice. But getting on top. God damn it. You can actually get on top of that um, oil container here. Whee. Which is also a pretty good spot. So you can catch it before they even get here. Once again you don't want to bag 
on your back because you do definitely give away your position up here. Okay, and finally, just to finish off inside boiler side, it is quite, you know, obvious, but you can actually jump over this fence along the back of the tracks. Now, hopefully you guys found this guide useful. This is a part series for custom, so next time we'll go into actual map awareness and go into detail of what is located on this map and just the way that people are going to push around the map. Just basically just a more informative way of this. Um, this is just showing, you know, jumps and ease of movement and, you know, cheeky, cheeky bleaky spots around the map. But guys, if I've missed any, you know, little jumpy spots or little locations or ease of movements around the map, please comment below. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao guys.